Welcome to Final Color Training. I'm Kevin Shaw. I'm going to show you the best ways to create bleach bypass looks. I'm going to show tweaks to my grade based on references from Road to Perdition, Saving Private Ryan, Children of Men, and Minority Report. I have a timeline with a technical grade already applied. My technical is a bit flat because I know bleach bypass adds a lot of contrast. And I'm working in ACES, but the techniques here are the same even if you are unmanaged. We could start with a match grade technique, increasing the contrast or using lift and gain and then lowering the saturation. This works if you have a reference, but lacks the organic quality of the lab process and is hard to control shot to shot or project to project. A better approach would be to use the luminance controls. By increasing luminance gain and then compensating with luminance gamma and luminance lift, we increase the contrast and lower the saturation all in one go. It's quick and effective, and I use it in a lot of music videos. It's a great look, but it doesn't allow me the finer tweaks that I'm after. I want fine control over the contrast and the saturation. And for some of my references, I'm also going to need to manage the color bias. So let's start by generating our own luminance channel with the RGB mixer. I want to protect the skin tones if I can. So instead of accepting the default values, I'm going to raise the red channel, making reds, including skin, brighter. This is easier to see if you switch off preserve luminance. I compensate by dropping the green and the blue channels. Imagine you're grading for black and white. Let's label this node luminance. Now, I want to couple the luminance to saturation. Option L to add a layer node, and we're back to the technical grade. Then converting this to a composite node for the look. It helps to turn on live preview to choose the best composite node. I'm in ACES, so I'm going to choose add. I can then use lift, gamma, gain, offset, or contrast to compensate for the increased exposure. And you can see that we are already going in the right direction, and I'm really liking that silvery look on the skin. My Road to Perdition references have deeper blacks and are less colorful though. There is already zero saturation in the luminance node, so now we move to node four, where I can lower the saturation and perhaps push back a little warmth in the skin with a gain adjustment. I could further darken the image by lowering the lift a bit too. Saving Private Ryan has a bit more color and a clipped print look in the blacks. So let's try that. Add back in some skin color with the primary gain control. You could use more selective techniques to do that too. For the clipped print look, we need to create a new tool with RGB curves. Option S to add a node after the luminance node and use the eyedropper to protect the shadow detail. I can also see on the parade where my cutoff is. Now just raise the black point almost to the cutoff. You don't want to be equal or past the cut point, otherwise it will solarize. That softens the image contrast, of course, so I'm going to add back a little kick to the highlights. Nice. This is another scene from Saving Private Ryan, but it's warmer. Since it's mostly a color change, we're going to do that in the saturation path. Let's use RGB curves for accuracy. First, bring the shadows down. It's obeying the black clip that we added to the luminance path, so that's good. Then we want the skin highlights brighter and more yellow. Raise the highlights, then remove blue with the blue curve. Add red to the shadows with the red curve. Only problem is it's affecting the neutral milk bath. So I'm going to use the saturation saturation curve. Make a pivot point and lower the saturation of the low saturated colors. You can see it hasn't affected the bath yet, so I need to move the pivot until it cleans up the milk. If this was the final grade, I would use mid-tone detail as well. And here we have the warm Saving Private Ryan look. Children of Men is less neutral in the shadows, so let's go back to the original bleach look and apply color bias in a different way. The vector scope shows a strong cyan in the shadows, balanced by a yellow, almost orange, in the highlights. This time I can be less selective and just add a node after the layer mixer. I'll add a bright yellow with the gain, switch to log to add cyan in the shadows, and another yellow tweak in the highlights. 
It needs a little bit more contrast too. To reduce the natural colors, I lower saturation in node 4 before the duotone node. Finally, back in the duotone node, I use the luminance saturation curve to reduce the chroma near black and white values. The most extreme look is from this last one, the minority report. Our current node tree will work, but a blue wash will make the skin go purple. So the first thing to do is to replace the red in the skin with blue. And I can do that with the RGB mixer, and I'll do it in node 4. Add red to the blue channel, and a little bit to the green as well. I can then use luminance gain to brighten and desaturate the highlights. The rest of the grade I can do in the trim node after the layer mixer. I'll use offset to lift the exposure and add a touch more green. Now I'll lower the lift to sit the shadows down and match the blue. Lift and gain are interacting too much to match my reference, so I'll switch to log. Here I can darken the shadows and better match the reference color. Don't forget to adjust the low range for that to work. Next I use log highlights to match the cheek and again check the high range adjustment. The overall saturation needs reducing and I'll build a luminance saturation curve to keep the blacks neutral. We could keep tweaking, but you can see that this works really well. We have multiple bleach bypass versions and they all work on any of the cameras on the timeline. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Find more tutorials at finalcolor.com and for more looks, check out the classes. Happy coloring.